Hiya, welcome to GGKCS, a multi-generational podcast slash floss tube for fans of all things knitting, cross-stitch, and geeky. I'm Cece, my pronouns are she, they. It is Friday the 7th of April, 2023, and I am here with an unboxing of the Black Needle Society box that just arrived moments ago. So, this is the March Garden Life Stitching Box. And of course, it always comes with um, a little flyer. There's some pictures from previous photo challenges. There's the photo challenge. And then here's all the information inside. All right, so let's just start right here at the top and see what we got. Try to get this bag open. Okay, um, it's in bubble wrap. Good thing I have scissors right here to open it. Maybe. It's very well protected. Sorry, y'all. Working on it, working on it. Okay. Oh, almost, almost. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful piece. So this is a bloom glass ornament handmade by Angie Winburn. It says, Angie is a stained glass artist and handcrafted each of these blooms individually for our March stitchers. Hang yours from a window to catch the light and enjoy the full effect. Each bloom is unique. That's beautiful. And it came with um, a little note and a cute little thing that says, the lovely flowers embarrass me. They make me regret, regret I am not a bee, Emily Dickinson. And then it talks about the care of how to take care of them. So that is beautiful. Okay, next, let's get some floss. Let's see what our floss is this time. Oh, gotta love good fiber, forbidden fiber co flosses. All right. Wildflower Specialty Floss Trio, dyed by Forbidden Fiber Co. Which wildflowers did you receive? Each stitcher received a skein of Secret Garden and two random skeins of Wildflower. All wildflower colors are meant to complement Secret Garden, but they are not the same two skeins from box to box. So I got your Secret Garden, and then I got a kind of mauve and a purple wildflower. Oh, those are beautiful together. Love, love, love Forbidden Fiber Co. Okay, let's uh, let's see what's in this box here. Maybe. Okay. Who let the frogs out? This is the Who Let the Frogs Out Planter Mug, artwork by Eagle Inc. While a frog is a fine garden friend, we prefer they not let be let out while stitching. Use this mug for sipping a warm beverage or for planting this spring. That's super cute. Super cute. Okay. Then we have... It's a threader. I don't know if you can see, there you go. You, now you can see the metal. This is the Wildflower Threader curated by Black Needle Society. Tame those skeins with this handy and adorable threader. Um, and I have used threaders in the past and seem to always break them, but some flosses are harder to thread into needles than others, so that might be a helpful thing for me. Okay. Let's do, oh, things are magnetized together. All right, here we go. Oh, those are cute. Flower scissors. Flower power scissors made by Kelmscott Designs. We suppose you could use these for your garden clippings, but we recommend you only use them to snip thread while stitching. Those are way cute. And the thing it was magnetized to was, of course, the um, needle minder. And a reminder, you don't have to tear it. It will just open, just like a Ziploc. 
Oh, that's cute. It says Stitcher's Seeds, 10 cents, the Black Needle Society Silk Rose. There it is. Stitcher Seeds Needle Minder, designed by the Black Needle Society. We were inspired by vintage seed packets to create this month's needle minder, but Stitcher Seeds don't grow any ordinary flower. They sprout silk flowers. That's really cute. Go back in there. Okay. All right. Oh, we have... A snail tea tag holder curated by the Black Needle Society. We couldn't resist sending this helpful little garden friend when we found him. Hang him over the edge of a teacup and slide your tea label underneath so it doesn't spoil your garden side beverage. That's brilliant. I always hate when the tea, um, the tea tag um, goes into the cup. That's super cute. Love that. Okay. Let's do this one. So we have project stickers. Where is it? There we go. Entomology project stickers, artwork, artwork by Avalon Rose Design. Just as entomologists label and document their collections, you can do the same. Use these project stickers to keep track of your project's details. So you can put in the title, the designer, stitch by date, and notes, and like put these on the back of um, framed FOs so that in the future you know what they are or somebody who comes across them knows what they are. Okay, here we have a bookmark. Secret Garden Seeded Bookmark. Artwork by Hey Atlas Creative. Detach the seeded paper flower from this bookmark and plant it where you would like to visit your own secret garden. And it says, if you look the right way, you can see that the whole world is a garden. Frances Hodgson Burnett, Burnett, The Secret Garden. I tend to kill plants by lo looking at them, but my girlfriend loves to um, garden and such. So I probably am gonna give that to her and see if she can make happy things happen. Okay, we've got, oh, some gorgeous fabric. This is the Hydrangea cross-stitch fabric dyed by fiber on a whim. Look at that. Ooh. This fabric may have been chosen with enthusiasm by Laura, our resident purple lover. We think it's absolutely stunning and perfect for some springtime stitching. I was gonna say, Laura must have chosen this because she loves purple. That is absolutely gorgeous. Great job dyeing fiber on a whim. Okay, holding that back up. I will put it back in the package after. Okay, I'm trying to see if I've got everything except for the pattern. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, here we go. This is the garden box pattern designed by Jeanette Douglas. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The photography is stunning on this. How will your garden grow? This pattern includes four parts that you can stitch up together and showcase as one piece or display individually. To purchase the box shown in the model photo, contact your LNS. It is from Cabron Mary Woods. If your LNS does not carry them, Jeanette re recommends ordering from the Silver Needle. Um, it's box number one hundred and twelve, and it's thirty nine dollars. If you're in the U.S. or from, if you are in the U.S. or from Jeanette directly in Canada. Okay, so this is done. She did it on a thirty two count fabric. So you could do it on a sixteen count Ada because it's over two. Um, the stitch sampler is 59 by 65 stitches. The two tiny squares are 30 by 32 and 31 by 31. And the long piece is 28 by 95. And it uses two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It uses 14 fancy flosses and two DMC flosses. 
And there's, um, let's see. There's lots and lots and lots of instructions here. Oh, you can make, yeah, so this piece right here is a, is a um, I never say it right, Bicornu, and it has buttons on it, obviously. And then this piece right here is a needle keep. Um, and then this piece right here is a ruler keep. So you can see up here, it's got a ruler. And the first piece was, let me see, is it just a piece or is it something too? Sorry, y'all. Flipping through all this stuff. No, it's just a sampler piece. But the way they finished it was with this little B on it on the back. That is super, super cute. Wow. Okay, so we got the pattern. We got the fabric. We got the bookmark with um, the plantable seed piece on it. We got the project stickers. We got the little snail uh, tea keep and the mug. Maybe I should give this to my girlfriend too and she can plant the flower thing from the bookmark in here. I will talk to her about that. Um, we have the beautiful flosses from Forbidden Fiber Co. We have those scissors that are lovely. We have the seed pack needle minder. We have, go back in there, there we go. We have the um, needle threader. And we have the beautiful um, glass ornament piece. Um, a lovely, lovely box. Such amazing things. As a reminder, I am a rep for the Black Needle Society. Um, so I get the every other month boxes and I share them with y'all this way. And on my Instagram, um, you can use my coupon code JAVAPEARL5, J-A-V-A-P-U-R-L and the number five, to save 5% 5 off anything in the vault. And the vault is where they put all the extra stuff. So um, if you missed out on this box, check out their vault and there might be um, extras of different things in the vault. Uh, their website is theblackneedlesociety.com. And with that, I'm gonna say goodbye. I hope you have a lovely, lovely, um, April ahead. I will be back with the Gilmore Girls Spring and Stars Hollow Black Needle Society box unboxing sometime next week, as long as it's delivered when it says it's going to be delivered. And I look forward to sharing that with y'all. Um, until then, happy crafting, and I'll talk to you again soon.